Hi everyone, it's the boy Sean. Welcome back to another Summoner Squad video. Today, I want to introduce you guys to the newest Net5 in the family. Okeanos, the Fire Sea Emperor. I got him on the first day of 2017 from the first mystical scroll from Necrobi 10. He literally blew me off my chair while I was watching Childish play stream. So shout out to the man Childish. Watch his stream, you get good luck, okay? <laughs> I 6 star him in less than 12 hours because I was going to 6 star I think the Dark Sylphid or Sylph and <laughs> that guy just went straight into the storage because Okeanos is the new love. I've been watching you, and I, I think you. When I first got him, to be very honest, I was kinda disappointed <laughs> because I wanted Triton much more. I didn't have a lot of experience facing or using Okeanos, so I was not sure how I could use him at all. But when I took a closer look at him as a whole package, this guy is amazing. First, let's take a look at his stats. Very good HP, very good defense, even though he's labeled as an attack unit. <laughs> he has very average attack, like very, very average. He should be labeled support. I know his skill set are very attack oriented, but I don't know. <laughs> Why do you label something a tank when you have shit attack stats? So weird. But then his awakening bonus is critical rate, which is awesome. It makes him so much, so much easier to run. Now let's take a look at skill. The first skill is the same as Order Sea Emperor. It will transfer the debuff back to the enemy unit. It is very situational, but it's very convenient in those situations. Let's say you are armor broken by an anvil. You are now having 3 turn armor break and you will not be able to shake that off easily without immunity or cleansing. But by transferring them back to another unit, you just cleanse yourself of the debuff. You cannot really transfer back stun and sleep though. <laughs> but still, transferring back things like heal block, or defense break can make or break a game. The second skill, Spear of Devastation. It removes a beneficial effect and reset the cooldown. It will hit for two times and the first hit will always remove one beneficial effect and the second hit will always reset the enemy skill. If you fail to remove the beneficial effect in the first hit, let's say the immunity, the second hit will be resisted because the immunity is still on. This skill is super good against things like Will Theo or Will Perna. You go first, you remove that Will effect and you reset the cooldown. Then you kill them instantly. It works on glancing hit as well. So if you glance the Theo, you still increase the target cooldown. This skill can be used to one-shot Perna and Pisama as well if you manage to kill them with this skill. No, no if you manage to kill them with the second hit, not the first hit. The last skill is Rain of Stones. This skill is rumored to be the elemental king of stun. <laughs> because Okeanos is able to stun war unit like they are freaking wind and fire easily. It's crazy. And you gain attack bar if you stun someone. If you stun the entire team, you gain full attack bar instantly and you can use Spear of Devastation on someone. He has an accuracy leader skill which is very important for RTA purposes because there are many units which is good for RTA that has resistant leader skill like Praha, like Hathor and if you don't have accuracy leader skill to match that, you are screwed. You will never be able to CC them. So accuracy leader skill is super good for RTA. I am putting some leftover violent will on him. These runes are not particularly useful for anyone and film removal is just around the corner. So. Some leftover runes are good enough for him. He's running a hybrid build with speed, HP, and attack. So I want him to be tanky. I use him a lot in live arena and in there. If you're not tanky, you'll be killed instantly. We have a guild war going on. It is against a farming guild. So I'll try to find 
some guy with like full defense and try Okeanos out. One of the easiest way to use Okeanos in PvP is to use him as an AoE damage dealer and pair him with Galleon or Mantura or Lure so he'll be able to both CC and deal good damage. AoE damage that has built-in CC is super strong because it makes it hard for the enemy team to come back. That's why Zyros is crazy because when you reset the skill, even if they proc Nemesis, it'll be over. As you can see, the stun is amazing without any skill at all. And I proc a Violent. Um, let's try and kill this bird right now. Violent is so good on him. Like, you can use Despair as well, but I love Violent on this guy. Because the last skill already has a very good chance to stun, so I don't think the extra chance to stun from Despair is needed. Ooh, I found a Perna. Let's demonstrate his reset ability. Okay, so the plan is to do AoE armor break, you can use Lua, you can use Matrura and reset Perna. If this thing can kill Perna, I'll be amazed, okay? I'm not on quick damage, so it should not do a lot of damage. Okay, we reset Perna, now Isabel will finish her off. Actually, I think I can kill Bella first and then kill Perna. If Perna had will back then, Okeanos would be able to strip the will and reset turn. That is super super convenient. And Will Rune is like the standard for at least mid game and above PvP today. I couldn't find anyone with a decent defense, so we will make do with this guy. In this situation, if you have don't have AoE armor break, you can still use Okeanos as a typical fire damage dealer. The good thing is that he has CC, so it's very convenient to use. And he has a good leader skill, so you can use something like this, or let's say take away Chasun and use Veromos. Okay, we transfer the effect back to him. It was two turn on me. I move and transfer back to him. It is still two turn. Okay, so it will not lose one turn because I move or something. Now we can um, let's say we reset Bella Hill. Super convenient. Oh, now nice. you got a buy for. Looking at him in a PVE perspective, I don't think he's good for Giant's B10 at all because he's fire element. For Dragon's B10, if you don't have any better damage dealer and you pull him early into the game, you can try to utilize him in Giant's B10. He can transfer back defense break, which is very convenient. So if you really want to use him for early DB10, you can fill him in a typical team like this. But his brother, Poseidon, is a much better option for DB10 damage dealer. I'm not very sure whether he's useful for Necro B10, but let's just try him out. He has two multi-head skill, which is really convenient. And the AoE can help you to clear the wave much faster. But he doesn't bring the necessary debuff for Necro B10, which are slow and defense break. That's why the liches are so good. Lucian is a much better damage because Lucian AoE is much stronger. His AoE is medical without defense break. I don't know, not, not that great of an option. But the multi is nice. I guess you can try him out. But the core unit for early game Necrobitan should be something with slow or defense break. Oh, he gives back the, the debuff. That's nice. But once again, this boss has no debuff, so there's nothing to give back. <laughs> and stun cooldown reset is totally useless in here. Maybe it's helpful in the earlier stage, but not the best option, I guess. If you want to use him in TOA, especially for early game player, I think he will be super useful because he has stun and cooldown reset. Especially during boss stages, you can stun the surrounding unit, which are very dangerous to your team, and reset the boss cooldown, so he'll just do default attack. I would love to show you guys him in RTA as well, but 
I use it all on a Twitch stream last night. Damn. So I can't really show you guys him and RTA right now. But I'll try to show you in another live arena video soon this week. If you are early into the game and you got him, congrats. But don't focus on him just yet. Focus on your progression unit like your Vero, your Bella, your Bernard. No, not, not really Bernard, but Vero and Bella. Don't six star him first. <laughs> I know he looks cool. He's a shiny red net 5. But don't six star him first. Build your core team and then when you have everything ready, try to fit him in. That's it for my first look. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Leave a like if you enjoy. Leave a comment if you have Okeanos. One Okeanos or hate Okeanos. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye.